Hey, what's up? I'm Ivy, and today I'm going to be talking about Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, Book 2, The Hammer of Thor by Rick Riordan. Wow, that was a long title. <laughs> so this book is, as I said, the second book in the trilogy, and the third book actually came out recently, and I don't know why I'm rambling, but the first book I did a review of, I'll have that link down below if you're interested in that, and yeah, I think that's it. So let's just get started. <laughs> So, I can't tell you much about this book without spoiling the first book, but I'll tell you a little about the first book, and then, yeah. So, the first book follows Magnus Chase, and he is 16, and then he ends up dying, heroically, and, um, once he dies, he goes to Valhalla, which is, like, the Norse mythology heaven, where, um, people who die heroically go, and there he, um, he meets some peeps, and, um... <laughs> He has to go on this quest to stop Ragnarok, or Doomsday, and he does that with his buddies, and yeah, so basically that's all I can tell you. So if you have not read the first book, go leave this video because I'm about to spoil, so yeah. Bye! Okay, so this, the second book, starts when um, Thor's hammer is still missing after you know, the first book when they couldn't find the hammer. Anyways, <laughs> Thor's hammer is missing, so Magnus and Sam and Blitz and Hearth and Peeps have to find it. So, um, Loki has arranged for Sam to marry this giant. In exchange for that, the giant is supposedly going to give the hammer back, but, you know, no one believes that because, well, it's a giant and it's Loki, so, yeah. But, um, Magnus and his peeps, as I said before, have to go on a quest to try to find the hammer before the wedding, but yeah, so, because obviously Sam can't marry a giant, and you know what, the plan is not, Loki's plan is not what it seems to be, so things get a bit hairy. <laughs> okay, so if you have not read this book, I recommend that you leave this video now, and then read it and then come back because well this book is awesome and so yeah non people who have not read this book i'll see y'all later okay so let's talk a little bit about the characters first there's magnus and he he's brave and selfless and he's also very forgiving because throughout the book randolph is um like randolph has done so many bad things to Magnus, but still Magnus is holding on to that, like, tiny little shred of hope in his heart that he's family. I can forgive him. Like, he can be redeemed. And I just love Magnus. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about him. Next, there's Sam, and she is balancing so much stuff in this book. She has school. She has her relationship with Amir. She has, oh yeah, her Valkyrie job, and she also, on top of all of that, has flight school that she is going to now. So she is trying to balance all of that, and especially now she has, um, her relationship with Amir is kind of being strained because he is finding out about her Valkyrie side of things, and so that's getting a little tense, but, so she, but, so, she has to struggle with that throughout the book. And then there's Blitzen, and he's opened his own shop, and it's, um, fashion, and oh my god, I love him so much, because he'll be going into battle, and he'll be worried about how he looks, and it just makes me so happy. I don't even know why. <laughs> and then there's Hearthstone, or Hearth for short, who is deaf, and he's the elf, and, um, in this book, he has to go back home to Alfheim, where he has to face his troubled past, and we get to see what it was like for him, and how terrible Mr. Alderman, his dad, is. I'll get, I'll talk more about that later. And then, finally, there's Alex, and Alex Fierro was my favorite character in this book, and in the whole series. Like, oh my god, I love Alex Fierro so much. Alex is gender fluid, so I'm just going to be referring to Alex as Alex, because, you know, I don't know what gender Alex is at this point in time. But anyways, so Alex is a child of Loki who ends up in Valhalla, and oh my god, I love Alex so much. Um, Alex has decided to make Loki's symbol Alex's own because he, Alex is changeable, and Alex loves pottery, and that's, like, clay is changeable, and Alex 
feels changeable because Alex is a shapeshifter but also gender fluid and I just love how Alex is like you know what dad I'm taking your symbol for my own not because I like you but because I'm me and I just love Alex for that um Alex also has a troubled past though because um the parents were not very supportive of the Alex's gender fluidness is that a word probably not and so I'm pretty sure Alex was living on the street for some time because of that and it just made me so sad that you know people can be that cruel to be like it's like you're different so yeah you don't get to live here like what the heck is wrong with you people okay so the gang ends up the gang <laughs> ends up on this quest and they end up in the White Sparrow and then um, that scene is so tense because Loki and Randolph show up and then Blitz gets stabbed. Sam is knocked out on the floor because Loki can control her. Hearth is like going crazy because he's like, oh my god, I might have to go home to get this stone. And Magnus is just trying to protect all of his friends and it was just so tense. And Loki was so evil and twisted in this scene and oh my god, I just... I loved this scene, but I hated this scene because just so many emotions with all the different characters, and I was just like, ugh, Loki, I hate you so much. And I also hate Randolph so, so much. I know it's not his fault. I know he's just trying to get his family back, but come on, man. You're going to bring the end of the world. And oh my god, I just hate him so much. <sighs> Breathe. Okay. So they have to go to Alfheim to heal Blitzen because he got stabbed in the gut and he's about to die. So they go to Alfheim where Hearth has to face his father who is an evil little butt. <laughs> Hearth has been blamed by his father not only for the death of his brother, which was not his fault, and now the death of his mother, which was not his fault. And so over the years, Hearth has just been like constantly beat down but not physically by emotions and mentally and oh my god i just want to kill mr alderman um that's violent i'm sorry i just want to punch mr alderman because he's a butt anyways hearth and magnus they end up um stealing the gold from that dwarf that i forget the name of and they steal the gold and then they repay they don't reap it they pay Hey, Mr. Alderman for the so st stone and they heal Blitz and then they're like yay Blitz is healed but then they have to continue on their quest so then eventually they end up at the wedding but Alex instead of Sam is the bride if they're tricking them and so the wedding turns out to be in Loki's cavern and I was kicking myself for not realizing this sooner I was like duh but anyways the wedding is happening and the peeps are like, what the heck are we supposed to do? There's like a dozen giants in here. Oh yeah, plus the god of evil and Randolph there. That's great. But Alex ends up starting the battle because Alex just is like, you know what? I'm done and just starts the battle. So, um, and then the hallmates from floor 19 show up and the battle goes on and then all the giants are killed. Magnus is like thrown into a puddle of snake venom and yeah anyways he gets burned up and it's like scary because oh my god anyways loki ends up getting free because randolph was like hi yo with the scoff long sword and loki is free which is kind of a bad thing because you know he's gonna end the world but you know what whatever <laughs> randolph ends up dying because the scoff long sword eats away at his soul and that was just kind of sad because poor little I, I imagine Randolph as being really short and fat. Pretty sure he's not. Anyways, poor little Uncle Randolph got kind of killed. And then Loki escapes, and so he's gone. And uh, they do get the hammer back, though, so that's a bonus. They get the hammer back to Thor so that the giants won't invade Midgard anytime soon. But Loki will be coming to destroy the world. Great. <laughs> And so everyone goes back to Valhalla, and then they start preparing for their next quest, which will be to find Loki and stop him. And yeah, so <laughs> I thought that one of the themes in this book was forgiveness, because throughout the book, the characters are, well, a couple characters are forgiving people. First, Magnus, even though Randolph has gotten him killed, um, 
stabbed his friend Blitzen, um, started the end of the world. <laughs> Magnus still is trying to forgive Randolph. He says, like, Randolph, come back. Like, you can still be good. And he still believes that Randolph can be good, even though Randolph has done so many bad things to him. And Randolph is like, yeah, no, see ya, sucker. And then he dies. So, yeah, that's kind of blah. But anyways, Hearth also is trying to forgive his dad. Even though his dad has, like, been so terrible, um, blaming him for the death of his brother and making him pay for it every single day. Oh my god. I just want to strangle him. Anyways, Hearth still wants to forgive him and still wants to save him from the cursed ring. And I'm just like, really, Hearth? Just let it go. He's not going to change. You have a different family. Your friends are your family. And I just feel so bad for him. But at the same time, I love him because, like, he's willing to forgive someone who's done that much to him. That's amazing. Like, I wish I could do that. I can never find it in my heart to forgive someone who had destroyed my life like that. Okay, so I love this book so much. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, most definitely. The dialogue was so hilarious, the plot was great, and the characters were also great and so different. And I felt like the plot and the characters in this story were deeper and more complex. Like, each character had, like, kind of deeper struggles in this book, and it was darker, I feel like, and Loki is definitely very twisted, and I just love that in the books. Like, I love it when it gets dark and stuff. This isn't, like, super dark, but it's definitely darker than the first one. And so that is it for today's video. I am sorry. I don't know what's going on with me today, but I'm like crazy and my mind is like weird and scattered and I've just been saying random things and stuttering and I am so sorry. But thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, um, then make sure you subscribe. I post videos every Sunday, hopefully, usually, mostly every Sunday. And that's all for today. Bye!